who had five 24 impaired drivers taken off the roads after Metro was out in full force overnight. 13 Action News reporter Astrid Mendez is live now with more on their efforts to keep our roads safe. Jackie, weeks after a one year old died in a DUI crash that happened right there, Metro Police is once again calling out people to stop driving in here. This after last night, basically, they stopped more than 200 cars during last night's DUI blitz, including one parent who, according to police, was not only driving impaired, but also had children in the car. Saturday night did not end on a high note for several drivers after they were given citations or arrested for impaired driving. Last night, Metro's traffic bureau was out across the Northeast, downtown, and the Boulder areas searching for drunk or high drivers. In the end, more than two dozen drivers were arrested, including one who had children inside the car. That driver was arrested for alcohol and drugs, as well as five counts of child endangerment because the children, ages 2 to 12, were riding in the car unrestrained. In the end, Metro made more than 200 car stops and issued 71 citations. Earlier this week, 13 Action News spoke with Andrew Bennett with the Office of Traffic Safety. He says so far, the majority of the deadly crashes that have happened in 2020 were created by impaired drivers or speeding. We need a sense of community. We need a sense of accountability when we get behind the roadways and we're, when we're traveling. And it's so imperative that we're in this together because it can be you as this continues, tr car crashes continue to be one of the leading causes of death on our roadways. And so we need the public's participation to just slow down and drive sober. Bennett says not only does drinking and driving leave you to face harsh consequences, you could end up losing your life or ending someone else's. One of the things that we hope to prevent is anybody receiving that knock on the door from any of these police departments or the coroner's office informing them that this could have been their loved one. All too often people struggle to relate that this could be them and this could be one of their loved ones. We're already halfway through 2020 and the state has already seen 130 deadly crashes. And just to let you know, in June alone, we saw 27, that's up th nearly 37% from the same time last year. Bottom line, designate a driver, always drive sober or use an Uber or Lyft. Reporting live, Astro Mendes, 13 Action News.